Welcome back. This is Lake Tahoe Television News, Lake Tahoe's only local news program. The Lake Tahoe region is feeling the effects of the government shutdown. The government is shut down to report natural resources emergency. That's a recording of how the local Forest Service office phones are being answered. The U.S. Forest Service has all but shuttered its doors in the Tahoe Basin. Now, we were told that the law enforcement and fire suppression units of the Forest Service will remain active in the area as those branches were exempted from the shutdown. All non-essential Forest Service employees have been furloughed, though. The Taylor Creek Visitor Center and Forest Service-operated campgrounds are closed. And unfortunately, one of the victims of the government shutdown is this weekend's Fall Fish Festival. The Federal Aviation Administration has also canceled many of its programs, but the local airports in South Lake Tahoe and in Truckee will not be affected. The FAA funds many of the improvement projects at those airports, but not the day-to-day -day operations. Now, the Reno-Tahoe Airport reports they're up and running as usual. Air traffic controllers in the control tower and the TSA screeners are all working, so they expect no interruptions to service. Representative Tom McClintock, the Tahoe area congressman representing California's 4th District, voted to defund the Affordable Care Act as part of the proposed government funding bill. Even though the new national health care system is now law and has passed tests in the Supreme Court, some Republicans that were initially opposed to the Affordable Care Act are using the funding bill as a way to dismantle the program. In a statement to Congress, McClintock blamed whom he identified only as Senate leaders for refusing to compromise. He said the only explanation for this conduct is that Senate leaders believe that a government shutdown inures to their political benefit because they can blame Republicans. McClintock says that the Affordable Care Act has caused dropped health care policies, massive rate increases, and job cutbacks. A free airline ticket promotion is making its way into local mailboxes that many are calling misleading. And as you can see, the postcards bear official-looking photos of American and Delta Airlines, but they are in fact not affiliated at all with the airlines. Callers are instead greeted by marketers that will first qualify them by marital status, age, and income, and then if qualified, will offer to have them go to Reno to participate in a 90-minute sales presentation. The presentation attempts to persuade people to join an expensive travel club. It's reported that people that actually attended the sales pitches do not receive free airline tickets, but vouchers or coupons, and those vouchers require the payment of taxes plus additional fees of $100 or more per person. And as with any promotion, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. The city of South Lake Tahoe gets a new fire chief. Jeffrey Meston replaced interim fire chief Bruce Martin at a ceremony held at City Hall on Tuesday. Meston has had a 30-year career in fire service. He retired from the Novato Fire District and has also served as a private consultant. Now on a sad note, 34-year-old lifelong South Lake Tahoe local Brandon Mitch Underhill, a firefighter paramedic with the Lake Valley Fire Protection District, died unexpectedly on September 29th. He was also an instructor at the Lake Tahoe Community College Fire Academy. Underhill leaves behind a wife and two young kids, his parents, brother, and sister. Donations to assist the Underhill family can be made at any El Dorado Savings Bank. Ask about the Underhill Family Fund. That's it for now from the Lake Tahoe Television News Studio. I'm Robert G. Scott.